Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by, by Clint Rakovich of Northern Illinois Football. Um, hey, Clint, how are you? Doing great, Casey. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so I'm not sure if practice has started yet for you guys, but I know it's getting pretty close as we're getting towards uh, as many schools are coming to camp and all that. But how excited are you to uh, get started with a, literally a brand new team? Oh, I'm pumped up. Uh, it's been almost two years since I actually got to play some real football. Uh, I got to do spring ball this year with the team, so I'm real excited to actually get to some real football. So, yeah, well, I mean, you, what was it like to not – play at all I mean what were you doing and all that uh you know it kind of brought me back to my red shirt year it's kind of the same feeling it's where you got that empty space in your heart you know what I mean the thing you love you kind of just got to sit out on the sidelines and watch so it was kind of very similar to a red shirt year for me yeah so what intrigued you to to come to northern Illinois obviously we know what we know what coach Hammock has done with the program since he got there of course he's a fellow husky himself and coming from, you know, the NFL and stuff, you, you know, what intrigued you about coming to, to Northern Illinois? Yeah, so when I hit the transfer portal, I got that call from Coach Sorrentino. He kind of had that uh, really heart-to-heart -heart with me, just saying how they kind of use me, how they see me fitting in the offense, fitting in with the guys. And kind of the same thing happened with Coach Hammock. You know, he had that conversation with me. He worked with uh, Kyle Juszczyk there at the Ravens, and he said they'd kind of use me in somewhat of a similar way. And that was something that kind of really, you know, sparked my attention. And it was something that I kind of rolled with. And, you know, as of now, it's working out great. I love everything about it, and they've stayed true to their word. So I'm really pumped up. You know, with everything going on and, you know, having a normal type year, I know you weren't there last year, but um, it's a young team. And, you know, it's building up and trying to get the, you know, get back to what Northern Illinois used to always do. And of course, they were in and out competing for MAC championships and all that stuff. How exciting is it to come in there and really kind of bring kind of the program back a little bit? Yeah, no, it's, it's a great opportunity. You know, one that I'm very, you know, thankful to have to try to bring a lot of these young guys along. I mean, since day one that I've been here in January till now, uh, I can, I've noticed a huge difference in maturity with the guys. Uh, you know, I can't really talk about last year because I wasn't here last year, but just even from then to now, I've seen just major strides with everyone. And it's, it's awesome to see it coming, you know, coming together and season right around the corner and just see how it pans out, you know. You got a pretty tough non-conference schedule. I know that there have been some, you know, some big teams that are going to be on there. I know you guys are going to go to Ann Arbor later this year. Um, well, actually, later uh, next month in September, but – how exciting is it to play some some non-conference opponents again? Yeah, I think it's awesome. You know, those three games early are really going to test what we're all about. You know, Georgia Tech, uh, Wyoming, and Michigan, like you said, are all three really good football teams. So I think it's going to kind of tell us where we're at, you know, where maybe we need to improve and, you know, keep working on the things that we're good at. So I, I think it's awesome that we play some pretty good football teams early on. Okay, so who are some guys we need to watch out for on this offense? <laughs> uh, I feel like an easy one's Tyrese Ritchie. I mean, Tyrese is – he's a baller. He's going he's gonna to do what he does. He's going to, you know, open some eyes again like he always does. But, you know, I'd say uh, our quarterback, Rocky Lombardi, he's, uh, he's going to be a playmaker this year. You know, he's – I feel like he's under the radar right now in the, in the MAC, and a lot of people aren't kind of – seeing what he's capable of yet, but that's going to, it's going to change real soon. Yeah. Of course, Rocky Lombardi, very familiar to Michigan state fans. Of course he was there last year. Um, how exciting is it to, um, you know, play in the Mac conference and all that and play in, you know, with, a, with a bunch of new teams and something that you're, you know, coming from staying in, in the, in the state of Illinois to go from Western to Northern. Yeah, no, it's, it's an awesome opportunity. You know, I've, I think it was a few years ago I started to kind of figure out what the matching was. I wasn't really too, uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't really know exactly what it was until a few years ago and started watching some of the games and just uh, it's a very high level of football, which I was very excited about. And it's an awesome opportunity to be a part of it now. Yeah. Maction every, uh, 
And of course, some uh, midweek games on uh, in November. That's going to be that's going to be really exciting. I think I might hit a few of them. But yeah. um, okay, so in the let's kind of get to know you a little bit too. I want to make make spice things up a little bit. So with the Olympics going on, um, have you been watching them? What's your favorite sport and um, and all that? Oh uh, yeah, I've been following around a little bit. Uh, you know, the one that always gets me is swimming. I, I don't understand how those people can do that. And was it Katie Ledecky swimming what fifteen hundred meters or something like that? I, I'll take a few laps around the pool and I'll be winded, and she's making it look easy. So uh, I, I watch a lot of swimming, watch some basketball, and then uh, I was watching the Olympic golf too. Yeah. I believe uh, Xander Shoffley won it this year. He did. So that was yeah. exciting to watch. Yeah, exciting, exciting stuff there. So yeah, the art. The have you watched like the where they dance in the pool, the artistic swimming or synchronized swimming and all that? And that's, I've seen a little bit of it. It's they, 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 they dance in the water. They stand on their legs and stuff. It's 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 pretty interesting. It's, yeah. Um. Okay. So, what's your um favorite? You know, favorite sports team that you root for it could be pro or anything. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I really don't have a favorite team because I'm, I'm kind of big on players, especially in kind of professional sports, because it seems like everyone's always moving around and the next year it can be an entirely new team. But I was a big Patriots fan when uh, Tom Brady was there, Julian Edelman and all those guys. Yeah. So I, I still kind of follow around with them. Yeah. Um, what's, what's your all time favorite movie? Oh, I'm gonna go Step Brothers. It's it's a close one. Step Brothers and Talladega mm-hmm. Nights, but Step Brothers definitely takes it for me. Yeah, actually, to, I think today, either today or tomorrow, I think this is the 15 year anniversary of when Talladega Nights came out. I'm, I, oh, I, I wow. saw something like that. Today, <laughs> so, yeah, Jeez, I'm, getting, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I know if you have the time. What what show are you watching? What show are you streaming on? on a platform or anything like that uh with my girlfriend we kind of try to watch some new shows here and there and we just got into outer banks on netflix a lot of people That's are getting into that yeah it's, it's a pretty good one you know it's it's interesting yeah okay and also name three things people might not know about you oh uh my middle name's bronco it's spelled B-R-A-N-K-O, but it's pronounced Bronco. It's a Serbian name. A lot of people don't know that about me. Uh, I'm really good at Xbox. I, yeah. I play I play Warzone a lot. And, nice. You know, a lot of people say they play, but I'm actually pretty solid. <laughs> are, you on, are, you on like, are you on, like, Twitch and all that and stuff? I, I did as a joke, but I, I don't usually go on there. I, I did it a few times, but... Okay. Uh, and then... I don't know. It's tough. You know, I, I don't really have a lot of secrets that I don't tell people, but I, I'd say those are the two main ones right there. Many, well, many people may not, I don't know. It's just like, you know, people outside of people watching this may not know, but yeah. Know. But gotcha. yeah. So, all right. Well, Clint, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with us and uh, good luck this season. Yep. Thanks again, Casey. Appreciate it.